If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've been talking about music grants and how to get funding for your music. But maybe you're not an artist. Maybe you're a producer or an engineer or a videographer or some other behind the scenes person that doesn't necessarily make their own music, but helps people that do. And you're probably wondering, how do I get music grants for myself? How do I tap into this funding source to get paid? In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do that if you're a behind the scenes service provider. Let's go. Are you an artist, producer, engineer, or music professional that's looking for funding for your music career? Could you benefit from having funding for studio time, mixing and mastering, or even marketing costs? I think I have something for you. I've written a free ebook, it's nine pages, super short and digestible, where I break down the six main places that artists and professionals like yourself can find funding for their musical projects. If this sounds like it's of value to you, please click the link below and you can download this for free today and benefit from this knowledge. I hope this helps. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Five. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Five Piece Producer and Engineer Extraordinaire. Thank you for checking out today's video. And if you haven't already, please hit the bell and the subscribe button below so you can stay tuned for more helpful videos. I got a lot of videos where I'm talking about engineering and production, but also talking about things like music grants and how to get funding for your music as we're doing today. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably a behind the scenes service provider. Maybe you're a producer, an engineer, a videographer, a marketing person, a manager, a talent manager, so many different roles you could be playing, but you're probably wondering, I don't make music, how can I also tap into music grants and get funding for myself? Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this and it's a bit of a tricky answer, but it is possible. And the best way to do this is to actually work closely with an artist and apply for grants on their behalf in order to secure funding for them. And once you get the funding for them, you have an agreement in place where that funding will be paid out to you in order for you to deliver your services. Now, this is something that I actually started doing right away when I first started applying to grants. I would be working with a lot of dope artists, artists that you know I really wanted to work with, but unfortunately didn't have the budget to hire me. And what I decided to do then was I offered them, hey, I will apply to a music grant on your behalf. Maybe I'll secure you $2,000 or $10,000 or whatever amount it is. But on the condition that I do do this and I put all this free upfront work in, if we are successful and we do get the money, I want that full amount to be paid out to me in exchange for my services. So really when you think about it, I'm doing the grant writing for free, but when they pay me, I'm gonna be getting paid a higher rate for my actual services being engineering, production, recording, etc. Now that's relevant to me. You have to figure out what's relevant to you, but assuming that you do something that is an eligible grant expense, like the things I mentioned previously, you can totally do the same thing. The real thing here is you wanna focus on three key steps. Are you ready? Let's do this. Step number one. Find an artist that you believe in that's already released music. Now this second part is extremely important. You wanna make sure that whoever you're doing this for has already put out some sort of proof of concept, whether it's a, a song, a couple of songs, an album, a video. You wanna make sure that they have something out there for the masses to consume. So that way you have a proof of concept or a, a minimum viable product, okay? And the reason why is, Grants favor people who actually have a proof of concept or a track record. So a brand new artist who hasn't released anything, it's gonna be much more challenging for them to win funding. And because you're doing this for free, at least up front, you don't wanna be taking too many risks. You wanna hedge your bets. And the best way to do that is by having somebody who's a bit more established, but needs your services. Step number two. Offer to write a grant for them in exchange for payment for your services in the event that it's successful. So what I'm saying here is you wanna have an upfront conversation. You don't wanna just say, hey, I'll write this grant for you. And of course they're gonna accept it. It's someone doing something for free and they're gonna be able to get free money. You wanna make sure you're saying, hey, I'm gonna do this for you. But in the event that it works out, this is the agreement and this is the arrangement. You wanna have everything laid out down to the dollar and make sure that everybody is on the same page. So that way, when the grant goes through, everybody knows what's up and everybody gets paid appropriately and especially you because you're the one that's really gonna be doing 
pretty much all the work here. You're gonna be writing the grant and spending a lot of time trying to win the funding. So you wanna make sure that you have something secure. And in fact, what I actually do is I have an agreement that I've created that I usually get artists to sign that commits them to this. So that way there's no second guessing, there's no question marks. Everybody knows exactly what's up when the grant gets accepted. Step number three, coordinate details and write the grant. If you're successful, arrange for payment. So by this point, you should have found an artist that you really like and want to work with that you believe in, that has a track record. And of course, you've confirmed all the details around the grant. You've decided how the money is going to be spent, how much you're going to get, what you're going to ask for, all that stuff. This is the stage where you see things through. You're going to coordinate any possible details you're going to need. You might need some specific information from the artist, track listings, demos all kinds of stuff like that. You're gonna to wanna to source everything that you're gonna need in order to apply, and you're gonna to wanna to do that. And of course, after you've done it, after the grant has been submitted, you're gonna wait a few months, and once you get the results back, assuming that you are successful, you're gonna to arrange to get the payment from the artist, and of course, you're gonna see through the services you promised to deliver. So if you're a video person and you're applying for a music video grant, you're gonna make sure that you deliver the music video, that you show up to the shoots, that you do everything that you said you're gonna do in your agreement. Now, this is something they don't tell you in school or when you're working on the job, but tapping into grant funding is extremely important if you're a creative working in the music industry, and especially if you're a service provider like myself, being a producer, engineer, or even a videographer, marketing person, etc. Now, if you want to learn how to do this, you want to learn how to apply to music grants, I have an online course available right now. You can hit the link down below and you can check it out for free. You can check the first two lessons out for free and start your grant writing journey. This is an extremely valuable skill. It's a skill that I've used to make over tens of thousands of dollars so far. And I'm actually on track to win $100,000 through grants this year alone. Do you want to join me on this journey? If you do, definitely hit the link below and check out the course today so you can gain access to this knowledge. If you got value out of this video, please like, subscribe, and share once again. Leave a comment below on something that you may want to see me talk about in the future, and I'll see you again soon. Peace out. Five.